Uh, first of all, I'd like to thank you all for coming tonight and welcome you to the grand final of the Member Gaming Dandler competition. Um, obviously, I introduced myself, but she's just done for me anyway. I'm John, spoke to most of us. Um, introduced Deborah. Matt's one of the dads. That's uh, Steve, one of the dads, sorry, that's working on the project with us. And there's a few other dads scattered about the room. There's one there, Old Town Dave, we call him. Um, also, uh, I'd like to say a big thank you and introduce the Right Worship, worship Ceremonial Mayor of Salford, Councillor Alan Clay, and her worship as well, Margaret Clay, Mayoress. Um, a little bit about what we're doing here tonight is that uh, we're working a little bit here with dads. And there's a lot going on for mums out there, and um, we started something with dads a little bit. Um, so we've been engaging dads in the community and uh, trying to help them to help each other to overcome problems that dads face here in the whole term. Um, and this is one of the things that we've done. The dads have set, up, set this up and organised this up uh, to do in the school. Yeah, the dads have uh, started this competition out, they've judged it. And um, so we're going over some of the entries now and giving some um, certificates out, prizes, things like that. So I'd like to introduce the mayor up now. Can I just say thanks for inviting us here tonight? A good turnout, and uh, let's hope everything goes all right. I'll, I'll say a little bit more just now. Okay, we're going to bring Dave up now. He's going to read one of the entries. Um, we've had a lot of entries, and a lot of them were very interesting. Um, some of them were quite funny. Um, we've, um, so we've got at least one of those now. Good evening. Grandad, you're really funny. You make me laugh out loud. I try to make you happy. I try to make you proud. I want to be just like you, but I like to keep my own teeth. And I don't really want to be bald. <laughs> Thank you. My name is David John Davis. I'm from Inner Salford. And I probably spent, I'm um, 66 in three months' time. I probably spent six years of my life in Little Walton. My father was from Inner Salford. It was a Mills and Moon story. Met my wife in a fishing village. In, met my mother in a fishing village in Scotland about 1956. I'm a father of one, Helen, and a grandfather, Jacob, he's six. And what they say about being a father, it brought me great joy, immense joy, uh, and probably the greatest happiness in my life. And this has moved on to my grandson, Jacob. And with the happiness has been stresses, I've put my daughter through three universities. She's an MA from Manchester now, and she still comes back to Denver. But uh, being a father and grandfather, I regard as probably the most responsible job in my life. My early work in life was I worked for Shell in oil refining and I'm a retired police officer. But nothing has brought me greater joy in life than having a daughter and having a grandson. Thank you. Okay, we'll just have one more following before we um, move on to the um, presentation. Dad's making you dinner. My daddy's making dinner, I've seen it all before. French fries, black and burnt, and burgers on the floor. My daddy's making dinner, but I'm not one to moan. Soon he'll surrender and just pick up the phone. Daddy's making dinner, today's my lucky day. Dinner's in the bin, and pizza's on the way. <laughs> <laughs> so that was some, some of the yeah, I just covered it. Um, I'd um, love to read all of them out. Um, and some of them have been on the the screen that we've been um, waiting to get out of the way. So. Children, dads, stand-in dads, granddads, uncles, brothers, mums, aunties and sisters, thank you for inviting me to the Hawking to hand out the prizes at your Men Behaving Daddy competition. Just one thing wrong with that first sentence, they've missed Grandma out as well. So let's, let's put Grandma in there as well. The next couple of weeks, local children, well, for the last couple of weeks, local children have been very busy telling us about the best dads in the community. We had some, had some fabulous entries and it was shown us 
that little hole has a massive amount of prayer to be proud of. I absolutely love all the labels, pumpets, footballs, and families that the children have drawn. You've seen some of them on the screen, I think. You, the children, have told us how your dads, granddads, uncles, and brothers are looking after you, making you laugh, cooking marvelous meals, taking you to the seaside, playing football, and most of all, giving you lots and lots of love. Tonight is a celebration of the important bond between a child and a parent. Local dads say that their children are massively important to them, and children say exactly the same. We know that many families have had, and are still having, so tough times. And often we find that the importance of dad is sometimes overlooked. So let me say how impressed I was when I heard that the men of Little Holton have come together to talk about how they can learn from and support each other to help their children. This is an initiative that is built on people power, and I know that when a community joins together around something as important as the children, then everything is possible, everything is possible. So tonight, I want to say a big well done to every single girl and boy that entered the competition, and even bigger well done to dads, granddads, uncles and brothers that inspired them. I can safely say that, in the words of Simon Cowell, Little Holton has definitely got talent. And these dads have got the X Factor. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much for that. Okay, we've got, um, as you know, we've got a community reporter here who's been snapping away and probably not want to get some nice photos. So what we're going to do, um, we're going to run through, there was two age groups. Um, there was the four to sevens and then the eight to eleven year olds. So we're going to run through the younger group first. Um, and we've got a set of certificates for people who have entered and, and, and done well um, um, and didn't place in, in the top three. But we still want to give them a certificate for that hard work. What we're going to do is I'll, I'll run through the names. Um, if when they hear the name, they can come up to collect their um, certificate. Um, they can stay down here once all the prizes have been awarded, and we'll get a group photo for each um, group, um, age group, um, and then we can all sit back down after that. So the first, these are in alphabetical order because somebody was really, really organised. You express yourself and you can talk to men in the end, things that you, you wouldn't even ask. Because you all think that we're doing something wrong, and then when you find out you're supposed to speak to someone else, and say, oh, well, that, that happened to me. And I think you kind of find out common sense and value, you understand, understand that you're not going through it on your own. I think that's what we've needed, and this, that's why it's so important that this group carries on and grow bigger. Okay, so. This competition is all about finding dads that everybody thinks the world of. Um, we all know that fatherhood is important. Um, it, it, it's, it's so key to a, a kid's life. Um, so what we're trying to do, we've got a small nucleus of people that have joined together. There's five, eight of us um, at the moment um, who have organised this and, and, and helped the guys from... John and Heather um, set up the competition and do the judging, etc. What we need to do is move forward. We want to get together with other dads who want to talk about what they find difficult, what they find easy, because I might find something really difficult, and um, you know, Joe Bloggs at the back might find that really easy because he's found a way to fix it. He's found a way to get little Johnny, who's five and a half to bed every night, whereas I'm struggling to get mine to bed. And if you want to talk to each other and find out what strategy is, how, how it works, and share that information around. Um, so, if you're interested, it's not going to be formal, it's not going to be sitting in rows, it's not going to be listening to somebody to preach, it's going to be talking. 
Um, if we could afford to have it in a bar, we would. But we can't. Well, I'm not told we are, anyway. So if you're interested in joining up, we're not, because of the Christmas season, we're not going to try and do it before Christmas. We're thinking probably third week in January, get together, have a first chat, talk about what frustrates us, what we think would work, what we can do for ourselves. If we need it, we'll go out to agencies, we'll go out to the council and try and get that help. Um, and we've got support from NHS, um, etc to do that sort of work. But if there's things we can fix ourselves, if it's just somebody you want to talk to, let's try and get together. We've got a sign-up sheet in the back with, <coughs> with Matt, um, um, who was on the door as you came through. If you're interested, what we think would be the easiest way to do this is if you just put your name down, give us your mobile number, when we've got a date definitely set, we'll just send you a text. We're not going to be ringing you, we're not going to be selling the number. All we want to do is keep communication really simple, really easy. So send you a text, where we're meeting, when we're meeting, and hopefully we'll see some of you there. If you know anybody else who's not here, who you think would be interested in joining, get them to come along. So, um, yeah, so thanks for coming. Um, we've got tea and coffee down the front and some biscuits. If my kids haven't eaten all of them, which I think they've had a pretty good job. Well, yeah, they've not done a bad job. Um, so please have a tea or coffee. There's juice for the kids. Um, and Matt over here, the community reporter, is um, going to be wandering around talking to various people and uh, maybe even taking some more photos. But thanks once again. And thanks to all the children who put entries in. Um, it was lovely reading those stories and everybody should be applauded for that. Thanks a lot.